Universal Music Group, the music label that represents stars like Taylor Swift and Drake, will cease licensing its music to TikTok. It accuses the social media platform of bullying and intimidation in its contract negotiations. The previous music licensing agreement between UMG and TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, expired yesterday. UMG took its argument public, saying in an open letter, it's pushing for appropriate compensation for artists, protection from artificial intelligence, and online safety for TikTok's users. UMG said TikTok tried to bully the label by selectively removing the music of some of its developing artists. TikTok responded, accusing the label of putting greed above the interests of their artists and songwriters. It called UMG's characterization of the negotiations a false narrative. Well, you know, like there's this back and forth about what's fair to get paid, when is your music getting used, and this is why that you see on social media a lot of times it'll take down your content if you try to put it, your own soundtrack to it. Well, and also, you know, five years ago, I would say Universal and the music side had the upper hand, but you look at the songs that TikTok can just make or break. You have a song from 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that suddenly blows up as a number one because it's on TikTok videos. And so they are a hit maker now. And so, you know, that's that's changed the power dynamics between these companies. It's um, I mean, it, it is interesting in the sense that TikTok having the power. But also, what are we fighting over in terms of dollar value? You know what I mean? It doesn't seem as if it's going to be make or break financially for for TikTok to be able to share that much ad revenue. So it's, it's kind of right. interesting because, you know, it tends to be just a trickle uh, for most artists. It, it would be problematic, though. For, it's true for the emerging young artists yeah. not to have their music on TikTok totally. where it's most widely shared. And if, and if that's the place where there's some hang up and if TikTok's taking that, you know, you can see why that would be problematic. Ask Rick, Rick Astley the power of... <laughs> Social media. Yeah, true. Yeah. When when the ten year old twins start to yeah. Rick roll their mom, <laughs> it's, it's ha for those who don't know Rick rolling, right? It, oh, I now think we're up on it. Okay. Yeah. We've all been. Rick and he rolling. hasn't. He. I mean, he hasn't recorded in decades, right? He's just kind of. How amazing is that to come back and have that kind of reemergence? Yeah. But thanks, social media. Yeah.